Hey there, uh, welcome to Snowpal Software Development and Architecture Podcast Metadata. Uh, it was meant to be two of two videos in this series. I already recorded the other two. This one is actually three or two A if you want to call it that. Because it's where I intended to stop screen sharing to, to wrap up the second podcast. There's a second video around socializing or introducing our podcast and the topics we typically tend to cover. Uh, with you, I hit there's two buttons that are right next to each other on the tool. So I sometimes end up hitting stop record as opposed to stop sharing. Uh, it's a usable issue that the tool actually has to improve. I think uh, it's not our tool. It's a tool that we actually use for our podcast. So this is kind of the third part, if you will. Just to summarize the previous two podcasts. Um, so let me actually, uh, looks like I'm actually sharing my uh, screen. Let me hit stop. Okay. Uh, this is where I wanted to start the podcast. Uh, so the idea behind these podcasts is to share our learnings as a product company. As a product company, as you probably, you may or may not know, we have multiple products in our suite. We have web applications, mobile apps on the app and play stores. APIs like backend as a service APIs to reduce time to market so you can build your web, mobile apps and microservices a whole lot quicker and go to market sooner. We have an education platform like where you can either monetize your courses by creating course content and in partnering with us to actually uh, you know be used as a platform to publish your courses on the web and on mobile. It's available on our devices so people can watch the courses and learn and improve their skills whatever it is that you're teaching whether it's software, whether it's law whether it's building architecture, uh, whether it's cooking, uh, whatever it is that your skill and interests are, you can create content, follow a certain template. It's very easy. Uh, create the content, give it to us, and we'll do the rest of the heavy lifting. And you can, you know, whatever uh, monetization happens, we just split the even at this point for a lot of the courses. Uh, again, we have, uh, these are some of the products. We have more. Uh, we do a lot of content writing, content marketing, and everything else you need to do basically uh, to run a startup. All of this is covered in a podcast, including but not limited to say advertising and setting up campaigns on different social media platforms. So you know how to sort of get started with the company. When we started years ago, it was a learning experience, a steep learning curve for us. The idea behind these podcasts is to sort of shorten that learning curve for you and for everybody else. Uh, and at this point, at the time of this recording, the podcasts are actually free. Now, there's a lot of value in these podcasts, so we might choose to sort of turn on monetization, perhaps at some point. Uh, but at the time, as of, again, the time of this recording, we probably have a close to like 300 podcasts, give or take, and they're all free for consumption. Um, so, you know, take advantage of it, uh, make use, you know, just uh, improve your skills, whether it's building software, building web apps, mobile apps, microservices, or building architecture if you're an architect, architect or you're a product manager, you're part of the product team, understand how you can actually uh, start with requirements, how does it flow uh, to the product team, how does that team in integrate and interact with the development team, and how you can get products to market sooner. Or maybe you're doing sales and prospecting. So we talk about that in our podcast as well, given that we're doing some of it, uh, and we'll be doing more of it in the near future. Um, even things like, you know, how do I set up a campaign on, on Pinterest or Facebook? It seems simple enough. But there is a bit of learning that's involved. And if you have somebody uh, show it to you, if you have somebody tell you, it's be easier than if somebody did not tell you. If, if you. if you have the same person show it to you by, by, by them actually literally doing it, it's going to remove all of the doubts, uh, clear the muddied water so you can hit the ground running in real quick time. That is literally the fundamental premise behind these podcasts. We also do, you know, there's, there's a few more than a, a few podcasts where we do live coding because, you know, if, you, if you're looking, uh, if you're either recently graduating or you've done this a while, you realize that more and more interviews have become like live coding interviews. Uh, that comes naturally to some, to some people and not necessarily naturally to a lot of others, understandably so, because people tend to get anxious when there's three pairs of eyes looking at you while you're doing actually the work of the code or writing the code. So the idea behind those podcasts is to kind of implement a feature for a Snowpal product, for one of our products. So you know that it's all right to, to do it not so correctly, then fix it along the way. And then at the end of the session, it's two hours, you, you know that you've created something of some value and there's more work to be done. So we sort of uh, try to, the idea behind that podcast was to, those podcasts is to uh, remove any fears you might have that's associated with the notion of life coding and being actually judged because the, what is the purpose of an interview? The whole purpose of interviews is judging 
uh, the person that's being interviewed, whether we like it or not. The idea is to remove fears so you can actually go better prepared. So it covers a number of those areas as you can tell. Uh, the collaborative podcasts, thoroughly, we thoroughly enjoy them. We bring guests on. Uh, and if you have a topic you want to talk or converse about, you're more than happy to have the chat with you. Just hit us up and, and we'll make that happen. Uh, and we, we typically do video podcasts, but we are okay to do audio podcasts as well if, if that's what you prefer. Um, so this third one is sort of the summary of the other two uh, podcast metadata, if you will. Uh, if you have any questions, again, let us know uh, and definitely subscribe to our podcast. Uh, just either on Spotify, Apple, wherever it is that you want to subscribe, just do it so you can stay up to date and keep improving your skills on a daily basis. Thank you.